Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Glad you guys were able to make it with us once again for that bro code. Yes, yes. Now, this uh, clip right here, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to play multiple uh, clips throughout this uh, video. But uh, here's, here's the first clip, you all. So, as you can see, y'all know I'm very famous of holding apartments accountable. Okay? Y'all know I'm the one that's the voice for the voiceless. Yeah. And so we're here today because I'm here to expose some corruption. Yeah. And it's not with the Eureka multifamily organization this time. Because when we dealt with Sterling Shire Apartments last year, I made sure when I spoke to Candace Venezuela, who is the Southwest Regional Director for HUD under Secretary Fudge, I made a promise that I was going to stay on top of Eureka multifamilies to ensure that all the properties in Houston are being done fairly and not having the travesty that happened in the Sterling Shire apartments. And these, the Eureka multifamily has held their end of the bargain. And that's why I'm here. Because, see, let me explain something. The Houston Housing Authority didn't know how much involved that I was within this whole process, okay? They had three inspections. One of them was actually a legal inspection that was done in October. You can go on my Facebook Live, you can see I was here a day before and I'm walking this, walking this property. And when they came out in October, I was dressed like the tenants. They didn't even know that I was there watching that inspection. And then check this, they did not even give Eureka Multifamilies the actual inspection report. We had to get it from a former employee who no longer works there and we got the email to prove it, that they passed. That was the annual inspection that they passed. So, so now, I guess that wasn't good enough. So then we got another email, which we're going to give to the media, that it was a second inspection that happened in November, which was a, in, an illegal inspection because you turned around and said you wanted to inspect this property because you had other people that was just starting to work for Houston Housing Authority, and then you wanted to bring them to come do that inspection in November right illegal because technically you're only supposed to give one inspection a year and that inspection was done in october okay. it was supposed to have been done in september until it was they asked eureka them asked to push it back to october and that's what happened and they passed now check this now moving forward to january january 10th 11th and 12th they didn't even know i was on the property i had a hair bonnet on I had on some sweatpants and I had a t-shirt and some flip-flops with a baseball cap. All right now. And I'm watching the illegal activities that happen because let me explain something to y'all. The Houston Housing Authority, what they did, they did a third party inspection in that month of January. So if that was a third party inspection, why was the Houston Housing Authority inspector by the name of Cheryl Rivers why was she on this property? Mm -hmm. I heard her with my own ears my telling the other third party inspector to fail as many units as you can. Oh. My no, now this ain't something somebody told me. You heard I heard it. Oh. I even got the pictures and I'm going to give it to you, media, so you will see she was on this property and wasn't supposed to be on here. All right, bro, so mm. she she stayed in there, you know, they, they doing a legal, um, they did one legal inspection, and, mm -hmm. you know, which they was only supposed to do one a year. That, right. That's, that's legal. But um, they come in there doing more inspections, saying that, Da, 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 da. I guess they trying to catch him up on something. Well, that's a bureaucracy of, you know, of 
politics, you know. Yeah. I don't care, yes. state, federal, local. It's, it's, it's all bureaucracy bullshit. Yeah. Excuse my language. Yes. But uh, it just seemed like they want them out of there. That, yeah. That's all that is. So they yeah. can put what they want down there. But, you know, yeah. you want to you wanna sit up and misplace people. You know what I mean? Me, meaning you want to relocate people. Yeah, well, you probably don't even care. Yeah. This place, excuse me. But, you know, you just you want to get them out of there. Probably don't even care where they go. Mm -mm. Just get them out of there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, just to build what you want to build there. You know, these people live there, probably lived there for, I don't know how long the building's been up. It's probably been up maybe 100 years. You never know. Mm. But these people have been living in this place yeah. for that long, you know, generations probably. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Somebody, yeah. mom and grandma probably lived. Because I know in projects, you know, uh, especially... Uh, with, with my dad's mom, she she stayed in uh, the Henry Hornets out late mm. on West Side. And, I thought uh, she was in Taylor's. No, she no, was she was only hitting the Henry Hornets. Oh, my okay, dad's okay. mom and uh, my grandmama, and she had been there. I mean, years. Mm. You know, I mean, years. And uh, you know, my dad grew up there. You know what I'm saying as well. You know what I'm saying. So I mean, they had been there so many years until. She passed. I mean, she had passed, but then not too, I, I want to say maybe five, six, seven years later, they started tearing the buildings down. Mm. I want to say that. I want to say it was kind of short, when, you know, from when she had passed away or whatnot. Right. But, yeah, you know, these, these people then, you know, I, I think Chicago kind of had places for them to go because I noticed they, they pushed a lot of people out, out south. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what the situation is, but it just seemed like, you know, in a lot of situations like this, Mo, they don't really care where you go. No, they don't. No, you know what I'm saying? They don't care that this is <clears throat> your home. Because I think they're kind of looking like this. It's not really your home. It just belongs to the city. It's, it's, our, it's our building. Right. It's our land. Definitely. You know, you don't own nothing here. Definitely. So if we tell you to go, you got to go. And we don't care where you go. That's true. That's you know, true. I, I mean, this is kind of how they, they're, they're bullies. Oh, yeah. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Like that. You we know? got the money. We come in. Right. Today, you know, but we need this place gone. You know? Yeah, we need this place gone. But they're probably getting, you know, you stay in the projects. You, probably, you, ain't, you ain't paying too much. Right. You know, it's just low income. You know what I'm saying? But now you're pushing these people off, off this low income. Do you have... Uh, more low income places they can go to, relocate to. Right. What are they supposed right. to do if they can't afford the rent? Definitely. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's the biggest thing right there. We talking about uh people in low income housing, you know, and, and it's supposed to be HUD, right? Well, uh how are they gonna have the money to move? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people ain't get, just ain't got the money to move. You pick no, up they don't. Go, you know, that's man. why I say it's their homes. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yes. But you know, you, when it come down to them wanting to to put some up there, they'll let you know it's not really your home. This oh, is yeah. our property. We own that property. We own it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We let you live in it, but now we finna do something else with it. We don't care where you go. Definitely. Now the, the woman was saying, you know, uh, you talking about the alderman? Uh, yeah, she was saying that. Uh, shout out to the alderman. You uh, go, cow girl. Yes, yes, for All sure, right. for sure. Used yeah. to. Now um, she was just saying, you know how she. Uh, and disguised herself as one of the tenants. Yeah. And heard them. Watching the procedure go down. Exactly. And she know how it's supposed to go down. Exactly. And, but she also heard them saying some some things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so, all right, so now we got a whole nother dynamic right here where they actually uh, have been caught. <laughs> You yeah. know what I'm saying? With 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 the uh with the hand in the cookie jar, you know what I mean? And um HUD, which is supposed to be for us, you know, help. Mm -hmm. That they're, they're actually just a tool for those rich bureaucrats that you was talking about to come in, hey, utilize HUD to get this done. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. <laughs> utilize the inspectors that we pay off. Da -da -da -da. Yep. You know, so and and shout out to the brother. Um that uh that spoke as well uh very strong brother uh we need more brothers in the community that's like that y'all give her a round of applause dr matthew and brother Quanell x i pray he speak today Quanell, these people need you me and all of us to work together to save their life and we will do that Amen. i just want to say to you south lawn as a slave i'm not a slave no more 
I don't sell drugs no more. I sell hope. I give hope. And Jesus Christ gave me the right to give hope. He said, suffer little children, forbid them not, let them come unto me. Huh? And he said, if you hurt one of these, you rather put a milestone around your neck and be thrown in the deepest sea. I don't know the lady name, but I want to name the one that's pregnant, Brother Quanelak. The one that's pregnant, eight months pregnant. I want to know where she's at. Where's she at? Where's she at? Come here, ma'am. Come here. Stand beside me and Candy. What's your name? Quita. This Quita. Now, I want to clear this record today. With my lawyer here, with the Quanelak, all of us here, I want to say this clearly to you. And sir, thank you for speaking for us. You will not put her out of here. She will not have a baby under the bridge. She will not be, she, when, while she's worrying right now, it's anxiety going in this baby. Do you understand what I'm saying? The baby can born with a mental condition. You cannot do this, housing authority. How would you do this? How do you sleep at night? How do you sleep at night? Putting these babies out. Who are you? You're the devil. I said it. The hell you going to put it? 150 people out with nowhere to go. And the inspection was passed. She was here. She seen it. They handed it to her. And she got some more evidence that she's going to do in Washington, D.C. We're going to put the money together and fly down there. The world going to know what you're doing. You will not displace these people. You will not remove them. They will stay here. They will stay here. Mike James, the NBA player, he came out today. One of that stuff. All of us out. We will not. We would not allow you to move a pregnant woman and these children out here with no place to go. How could you sleep at night? How? Illegal. And what did you hear him say, Dr. Cannon? What did you hear that lady say? Fail every unit as you can, as many as you can. I told the people, Mr. Quanell, sell the units. Get them out of here. Fail. Who? Fail. You know what y'all trying to do? You want to take this and build some high rise or condos and move the people out and you don't give a damn who suffer this baby, these children. But like my brother said, you would not do it. We would not let you do it. We are going to stand. You might want well to turn that contract around. Do what's right. You got John X and Quality that. You don't want to deal with them, one of us. No, no, no. We'll die for our people. And we stand with the nation of Islam. We will die for our people in the Black Panther. We will die for our people. You will not move this baby out of here. You will not move these children out of here. And we are going to stand together. Amen. And you will not Amen. do it. Right. Thank you. Uh, just shout out to uh, the queen and the king in this video. I, I, hey, much respect because without y'all, these people wouldn't have much of a voice. But because they are in a in a position of of uh, to to be able to have connections, they're able to put out this word and they're able to get them those people help. Um, right. So shout out to them. Uh, on this. Yeah, most definitely. I, I really uh, appreciate her diligence, the Alderman's diligence, you know, to the point where she, she did some investigative work, you know, she went above beyond, I think, the call of duty, you know, as, you know, as far as, like you saying, you know, dressing like she lived there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Acting like she lived there, but she, she undercover. There ain't nobody know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I probably wouldn't be the my choice of girlfriend either though, because mm. see if she, she doing, doing all that, that yeah. Work, yeah, you can hey, tell oh, no, that man. she ain't gonna be taking it all lightly right. either. Peek around yeah. corners, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just playing with you, baby girl. You look good in that in that yeah. cowboy hat too. And, and you know, anyway, just yeah. one of the one of the beautiful things about uh, just just that part right there is she's utilizing that in a, in a more uh, productive way. Yeah, that it's gonna help some. Somebody, it's, right? You know, versus the the, the wilding out on the dude type. Right, thing. right. That was just a joke. Though. That, that was that was just a joke. Though. But yes, definitely shout out. To, shout out to, yeah. to both peoples. You know what I'm saying? You know, you yeah. hear y'all both heroes in my book. So. Definitely. definitely. So with that being said, you all uh, go ahead and leave your comments. Uh, let us know about what you think about this situation, this clip right here mm. on these two individuals who are speaking out for the community and for. Um, you know, the dirty hands that are involved uh, in this situation mm -hmm. as well. Uh, remember to smash those likes. Until next video, you guys. Peace. Peace.